Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Your host, the Raven, here, bringing you some Enter the Gungeon action. As the title of this video states, this is my best run so far in Enter the Gungeon. It is this game is awesome. The more skill you get, the more practice you get, the further you get, um, the more experience you have. The music kicks butt. I've been to the third chamber. I've been I've seen two out of, out of, out of the third chamber bosses. Um, they are insanely frightening and good and just amazing uh, enemies. Uh, once again, I start off. Uh, I'm playing the Marine. I'm still learning the game, so he just he just seems to be the best, most friendliest uh, new new friendly character. Uh, the armor, the web, the his uh, sidearm pistol is so effective. Uh, plus, he gets uh, the free weapon, uh, the ammo drop, which is insanely useful. But anyway, we got our shotgun can. We got our bullet can. I, I actually am kind of endeared to the uh, first chamber enemies because they're so they're challenging enough to where you have to pay attention, pay attention, but they're not. Um, it's, it's so difficult to dispatch. You know what I mean? You're not, you know there all day long you know on one ghost or one uh, bullet can you know so it's uh, I do like the level one enemies uh, sometimes they can catch you off guard and you can lose some health and you know things of that nature but if your aim is good and you know you're on your own point with your dodging and blocking um, you know it, it's a you have a great time so anyway this song is playing is my favorite song of all the first four dungeon songs each one is different uh is generated differently when you start a game and there's no way to change the music once it starts playing you have to the only way to change the music is to return to the breach every time you return to the breach and enter re-enter the dungeon uh that rolls the dice so to speak on the music selector and uh just keep doing it till you get the song you want if it's that uh, important to you, um, for me, uh, not it, it's not too big of a deal. Most of the time, I get the song that I want. I think there's only three songs per chamber, but I, you know, I'm not sure about that. Just this is my experience so far. But this one, I just love the beat. It's so motivating, but yet it sounds um, it uh, it sounds like it. It, I, like it's tribal or something like that you know I just had to pause and think there for a minute of what what I wanted to say exactly and uh, so anyway getting pinned down by the shotgun can uh, things can be quite difficult I've already used my dot uh, my blanks I love it when the bullet can't get behind tables sometimes I just like shooting the tables Disintegrating the tables first and then getting the bullet can behind it. But uh, yeah, this is my favorite song for this chamber. Um, the other ones aren't bad though. Like this, there's so far there isn't a song that I hate. I do have my least favorites, but there's no song so far. Uh, I haven't been through the whole game, um, but so far there's no song that's like, oh, this one sucks. I hate this one. You know. Which is, that's, you know, that's an amazing compliment because, I mean, our people's taste in music is so different. So, anyway, here we have this first shop. Shops have a love-hate relationship. Um, sometimes they have really good things like those uh, greaves. They, you know, blanks, health, armor, ammo. Those are really good. But those bombs, that's, you know, I'd give me a good gun. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get through the gungeon. I'm trying to live. I'm trying to survive. I need a good gun. So anyway, I uh, wisely choose blanks. Blanks are really affordable. That's another thing I don't like about the shop. It seems like everything's slightly overpriced. Um, compared to the money that you, you normally make on a floor, uh, which is random, by the way. Sometimes you can kill a room full of guys and only get one cent. And sometimes you can just kill one guy and then get, like, $20, you know? So it's like... But most of the time, though, you wind up with about 30... I would say mid 30s to uh, early 40s, mid 30s to mid 40s worth in gold, you know, clearing a floor. 
if you you know on a good run there's times where i've cleared whole floors only gotten like 26 you know things so anyway we got the demon head uh gun it is extremely powerful uh, you'll see me use that a lot in this run uh but anyway yeah it's it's i, I disagree i wish the shops were a little bit cheaper now one thing i do like is the when you when you every sometimes you get an opportunity to free uh, NPC locked in a cell, they're held behind a jail cell with a smiling door uh, lock on it, and you need a, a cell key for that. It's a yellow key. It's larger than the normal silver keys you get, and if you unlock certain uh, NPCs, they set up shops in the dungeon and in breach, well, your home base, so to speak. And those shops prices are very reasonable. Um, at least the uh, I don't want to spoil any of the NPCs. That's part of the fun of this game is like who is behind the sale door, who did you free, what do they do, you know what I mean? Um, it you know so that's why I'm not mentioning any names, but yeah, it's like those shops are very very reasonable. I like those shops, but the main guy I don't like him. I think there's a way to rob his shop. If that's the case, I want to learn how to do that because sometimes he be, he be with that ripoff stuff. I don't like him. So anyway, Demon's Head, awesome weapon. Test out every gun. I highly recommend that you test out every gun because when it comes time to the bosses, you need you you don't have time to experiment. Sometimes you can get away with experimenting if you if you have enough experience with the boss. Uh, and some bosses' abilities and uh, gun patterns are. are different so you might have a little bit of breathing room some bosses don't give you any time to breathe um it's like a straight damage race by the way um and this run here i'm i make it to the not only do i make it i've been to the third chamber before at the time of playing this but it was just barely like i, I just killed the second floor boss and uh i only had like one heart left I poked my head. I think I cleared maybe one room and then died in the next room. It was a real short run. But this time, uh, not only do we see the third chamber, we get to encounter the third one of the third chamber bosses, which so far are really amazing. I'm, I'm so impressed with every boss uh, they created. They all have a gun theme matching, you know, the Enter the Gungeon story uh, universe. Uh, they have clever, punny names. Um, their attacks, their abilities is just awesome. You know, without feeling cheap, it just feels, you know, good. So anyway, guns. I would love to get on these guns. I'm using a demon head. If you if you look in the ammo nomicon, it tells you the gun's name up top, and then below that it'll tell you the rate the type of the firing style of the weapon. Then plus some story, some back lore. Here we have Gatling Go. Uh never a slouch. Always have to be careful. Um, but however, the demon's head weapon is so powerful. It makes short work of our friend, uh, our, our girlfriend. And then you have to kind of know his, uh, um, Gatling goes patterns because sometimes you, in, in a straight line, you can actually avoid more of his gunfire if you if you're like directly facing them whereas as you try to uh maneuver a lot of times you get hit uh this one is a match with minimal cover sometimes you'll fight him in a library and you'll have a lot of cover which he still you still can't take him for granted we toasted him but uh this fight there's some tables sometimes you get him in a room where there's no tables at all there's no cover so this is a minimal cover fight i didn't get hit at all i did not take one point of damage so i get the master round for the first chamber master round gives you an extra heart uh you get it every time you defeat a boss every time you defeat a boss of that chamber without being hit by their attacks or any, you know taking any damage you there you get it it's, it's kind of like getting a reward for getting perfect like in mortal kombat you know beat the guy without being hit so anyway what a way to finish the first floor each floor is a victory because each run is different and i say run because um enter the gungeon is a roguelike every time you die you lose all progress 
at, with with the exception of a few uh, story items and uh, you know things of that nature, but lots of stuff that I've seen that that gives you that are permanent. Like it takes a long time to unlock. Like you have to find NPCs. Uh, you have to you not only do you have to find them, you wait for them to generate, to spawn, or whatever. Get lucky enough to find them. You have to. Um, then like bring them stuff or you know do quests and all type of stuff it's like it's very difficult but anyway roguelike every time you die you st you lose all progress you lose all guns found all passive items you start over from the very beginning of the game not there's no save i think there's ways to shortcut through it uh which one of the, was one of the things i mentioned about you know storyline items and stuff uh but it's um you know, most of the other stuff you lose, you know, and I really hate the fact you lose your guns. I wish there was, like, a way you could purchase a chest and, like, every time, like, you could select one gun to put in the chest, you know, when you die or something like that. Or that way, every time you spawn, you, you have that, your sidearm and that gun, you know, I mean, even if they put a restriction on it, like, there's no ammo for it, I would still want to have it. Cause you might look up and you know get an ammo drop from an enemy or you know so or you know you might have ammo with you for the marine but so far i don't know if there's anything that any way to do that i've seen other people play with like guns but i mean my my knowledge of the game just isn't that great like i'm still like i say, i've just made it to the third chamber i've been to the third chamber uh twice um uh, at the time of playing this, but now after that I have been three times uh, I lost to another third chamber boss. They'll, the bosses are hard, especially if you don't know their uh, abilities and their, or their bullet patterns They're very difficult. So anyway, here we have this game. This guy shows up randomly on maps uh, It's an aim contest or a skill contest shooting a firearm you get limited shots. You don't get a re, re, uh, reload or retry. Um, basically, aim and shoot. There's obstacles in the way. You gotta try to get as many targets as you can. You get a prize, and usually you get good prizes. If you if you hit at least one target, you usually get something uh, pretty decent, out of, uh, either really good or just decent, or out of the um, chest. So it's usually worth it to pay his uh, price, I believe, for the game. Now this music doesn't usually play during this event. What happened is that when you beat the boss, that music like just takes over the whole chamber. I, say, I think except when you go to the shop, but for some reason it didn't change uh, when I came in here. So it's still the Gatlingo music. So anyway, I, you can see I missed two shots. I got two left. You know, you don't you don't want to. So far, every time I've played this game, I've always hit at least one target. The first time I played, I think I hit three out of four. But, um, you know, there's, there's never been a time where I haven't hit anything. So, so far, all the prizes have been really good. And you see, here we got this armor, Gun Knight Gauntlet. That's insane. Like, it gives you uh, armor every floor. So yeah, I got the greaves and the uh, gauntlets. So it's like it's really awesome run. Like some runs, you just get just amazing items, amazing guns. Uh, the enemy patterns in the rooms and the enemy setups and types—they're challenging, but they're they're always challenging. But they're never. Um, sometimes they're they're just different setups. They're way more difficult to deal with than others. And it's just like you just sometimes you just get those uh, easier chambers, you know, things just go right. Um, but and some runs, it's like you're you're on a you make it to a third chamber and you're praying that you get another gun because you know you just your 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 side pistol your sidearm isn't cutting it. You know you just. Dang. So anyway, let's start off the second chamber. This is a more dungeon, like old castle style uh, board. I always, I always blow up those explosive barrels. Nine times out of ten, they come in more 
they're more um, likely to get you hurt or killed than they will the enemies. If you're not uh, careful, most of the time I just clear them out of the room. But every now and then I do take advantage of them to use against uh, the enemies. But um. Here we got ghosts. The enemies are a little bit more powerful. They use some of the, the same. They use the same abilities. Some of the same abilities, mostly the same abilities, but it's a lot harder to take them out. You have to be very careful. This music also is my favorite track uh, for the second chamber. Uh, once again, just like first chamber, the music tracks are randomly selected as you enter. But this is one of my this is my hands down favorite for my sec for the second chamber. It's like awesome music in this game. Awesome music, awesome shootouts. And these cubes, these I, I can't really stand I hate these damn square cubes. When there's more than one in a room, like what a headache. Especially if there's hard if there's little to no cover. It's like man, there, there's some uh, none of the enemies are cheap. I mean it's they all have a simple style, but some enemies' patterns are just way more difficult to deal with and cause more trouble than others. And see here, I'm so grateful for there to be covered because there's two of them together. Now see, here's the cell key. That yellow key bounces up and down near the cubes. Those, that's the cell key you need to free uh, the various NPCs of the game. And then not only do you need the key, you also have to find the cell where they're hidden. So here we are, calling the ammo supply. Cell key. And you're just in time with that ammo supply because our Iron Maiden suck balls. We, have, we got two hot shots. Took the boys out. Took them out. And then, hey, it doesn't hurt to refill it. And if you don't pick up ammo and items off the ground, a goblin will come and steal them. So you can't... Hearts and keys can be left uh, and, and I think uh, passive, I mean, active items can be left on the ground, but no, no, no. Active items and uh, ammo will be taken by the goblin, so you have to use it or lose it, so don't hesitate. You know, there's a lot to learn in, uh, there's a lot to learn in Enter the Gungeon. It makes it really cool. Another mysterious object that we have in here. Mages are another really hardcore uh, enemy. Any any enemy that has the ability to spray lots of bullets. And see, I knocked that guy into a pit. I didn't kill him. So I think you get you get way more money for killing him yourself. I know you don't get any money if you use a barrel against him. Here is the metronome passive. That is actually pretty cool. The more enemies you kill with a certain gun, it builds uh, power. If you switch guns, you lose all bonuses. But the more you kill, the more it charges up your gun. So it can turn the Marine sidearm into the uh, AK-47, you know what I mean, in power. You know, you just kill enough guys so in a row without having to switch weapons. So we're going to test that out. And you can tell there's a musical note uh, every time I make a kill. So first four enemies, five enemies, every five enemies, it'll level up. So now my gun is just that much better. And here we enter the shop. I've already mentioned my love-hate relationship. Although I do like some of the other side shops. The main guy, his shop... Uh-uh, sometimes he's a rip-off or a waste of time, but the, most of the side shops and the ones in the breach are really good. So um, if you look on the map, you see this room is shaped like this. That always holds the, an NPC. So anyway, here's this goblin guy. Him, I've, I've rescued him before. He'll show up in the breach and he'll sit near a ledge. If you go to talk to him, you'll knock his helmet into the breach. And then you have to rescue him again and that can be annoying because 
it's 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 hard enough to get these rooms to generate sometimes and then you know sometimes the rooms will be there but the key never appears and it's like you you know and then you know some guys need multiple you have to find them multiple times so it's like to have to find the same npc over and over again especially an npc that doesn't uh open up a shop or do so give you some kind of special bonus you know that that can be to have him in the role or the in the mix or in the cards it's just annoying so i'm making sure i'm extra careful not to uh not talk to him again but anyways second chamber boss there's one of them the ammo conda at this time i've beaten all three uh of the second chamber bosses ammo conda is my favorite um none of them are, are easy so to speak but some of them i have patterns and abilities that i find easier to deal with personally and out of the three so far ammo conda uh I could get away with putting a lot of damage on him and taking very few hits. Uh, I did take a hit uh, earlier. I didn't use a blank. I should have used a blank. And I would have got second chamber mastery. But, you know, if you take a hit, you lose that. And he's almost, he's almost gone. And so far, as I've only taken one point of damage. Yes, there we go. And that even counts as a kill for the metronome. Now, see, those currency, those green currencies, those are the ones you need in the breach shops. And, uh, yeah, very good prices in there. I really love those, especially since it takes so long. Um, to uh, get coins or whatnot and find them or whatever. But, yeah, and because you do the... Um, you go through the game multiple times you gain so many you kill the boss multiple times you gain these currencies so when you first do when you first open up the shops you have a lot of money to spend and that's a good feeling to like just open up a new shop and you can uh, right away start uh, purchasing extra bonuses whereas with that main uh shop like you do a whole floor you know and it can only buy one you know power up and it's like that's annoying that sucks you know but oh well, you know, no game is perfect, and that's just one of the things I don't like about... Look at that cube right there near me, piece of crap. And those those green bombs are assholes also. And see, that guy almost killed me with that. Well, not killed me, but hurt me with that by detonating that trash can... Uh, that explosive barrel near me. Luckily, uh, reflexes play a lot, a big part in this game. Now, the shock rifle is awesome. Uh, it's not as powerful as the demon head, which, uh, I find that out the hard way during this run. But, um, it's still an awesome weapon. It's probably, I think it's best suited, if you have a stronger weapon, it's probably better suited to use that to, um, clear, clear floors. Because the enemies, uh, get tougher. Each chamber, the enemies get a little, they take a little bit more time to kill. Uh, you know, just a little bit stronger. So anyway, I, I go to the stupid altar, and I shouldn't have. But, you know, it's, I'm new to the game, so... You know, I'm trying to see, test everything out, learn everything. And uh, the demon's head is powerful, but it's not that uh, good of a weapon, I think, when it comes to clearing rooms full of enemies. And some guns are like that. Some guns are really powerful against bosses. Not so good against enemies. Some guns are really, really good against the enemies. But are too weak to, you know, do any damage. Be worth anything uh, against the boss. Some guns are just useless, period. I don't care whether it's a boss, whether it's an enemy. I mean, they it just sucks. There's some guns that I hate, you know. Or they're, they, they got a wonky gimmick, they're irritating, they're weak, they're inaccurate, you know, some guns are just stinkers. But you got, you got, there's good with the bad, so, um, gotta deal with it. So anyway, we took some damage. 
and see full heart and then I won't be able to purchase anything else it's, the blanks are now 24 so it's like it, it sucks and you can't sell things to him like I don't want this bow and arrow gun or this I don't want this crappy uh, pistol why can't I sell it to the shop you know what I mean that's you know that's annoying but you know oh well anyway we defeated the Amoconda and I forgot that there was health available I could have bought keys which probably would have helped this run out uh, but oh well you know where I'm human we make mistakes uh, things happen so anyway on to the third chamber uh, third chamber you know as you know as you gain skill you get more and more familiar with each uh, area third chamber the enemies you need a really powerful weapon at that time your your marine pistol is still effective but it's just it's really you can see this lacking in power and a lot of the enemies have multiple forms do a a lot massive aoe attacks you got level two sorcerers um you got uh green books and you got alien elliptic mages so here I took a quick break um I wanted to make sure that I wanted to make sure that we um I, cuz you know after two chambers it's like you kind of need a break or whatever so uh I'll be right back um I'll bring you that action uh All right um yeah I just had to take a quick break because it's like the action is so intense. Um, you know, you can get sweaty hands, sweaty palms. Um, you, you know, you might need to massage your hands, muscle cramps. So anyway, here's one of those elliptic maze buttholes. You can see he already splits into three entities and starts summoning some kind of magic crap. I start trying to gun him down because I don't want to find out what he has in store. Also, those mushrooms. Those, they, those release so many uh, bullets. Like, man. Ugh. Yeah, the difficulty definitely amps up by the time you get to the third chamber. So anyway, I lost some armor, gained some armor. There's big mushrooms, little mushrooms. There's laser cannons. There's the ghosts. There's, um, you got sorcerers, all types of stuff. Yeah, third chamber don't play. I can't imagine what fourth and fifth chamber are like. I mean, it probably could be insanely difficult. Like, like you need like demon's head, um, sword lance, uh, sword rifle. You need like all just the best weapons just to get through it. You know what I mean? Like, wow. But I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. Um, because the game is so fun, it's worth learning. Now, see, these are brand new enemies. The first time I saw these, I was like, oh, crap, what the hell is this? Luckily, I used a blank to uh, get rid of that. I mean, you don't want to play games. You don't want to... Um, now, we had the next level sniper, Ken. The 1911 is doing a really good job of room clearing. Let me save uh, ammo on my demon's head uh, weapon. Now you see here the laser spheres you really have to watch their pattern and their timing and then use the laser like kind of backtrack follow the laser to get their location so you can, you can get close enough to destroy them with your weapon because what a nuisance especially when um your you know other enemies spawn nearby and see these blobs they shoot bullets when you shoot them a bullet is released they, they carry energy inside them, and that's what will happen. The first time I met them, I got shot shooting them, and I was like, what the hell, you know? So, um, they are still kind of goofed by using the demon's head. They kind of panicked a little bit. But, uh, yeah, the enemies are tricky. As you can see, I'm jumping environmental hazards. Looks like some kind of boiling uh, acid, lava, um, it, traps, environmental hazards, AoE enemies um just the general difficulty and toughness of the enemies yeah it makes it a real uh challenge and the one thing i like about the teleport function is like once you go through a trap that's all you have to do is go through it that first time you don't have to go back you can't teleport out even if it means a little bit of extra walking you still have that option 
sometimes it's better to take the slow way around than the uh, fast way. So, um, another thing about Floor 3 is like, this seems to be a lot of shotgun can. Like, man, it's like there's, it seems like there's never a floor without uh, any. Now, here, I, sometimes I have a problem with uh, seeing environmental hazards. Like, those spikes, it looks like dark carpeting to me. Uh, you know, I see the, the spike tips coming out of the shadows, like just poking out, but sometimes it looks like dark carpet with white uh, specks or like, you know, space space design carpet. And we've got shotgun kin, and that's, I think that's a book. No, it's a spellcaster. I've got the books usually use letters, and then we got a guy riding minecarts like Indiana Jones. And as you can see, there's more uh, environmental hazards. There's pitfalls in the floor. There's lava. There's um, just all types of stuff. You know, water. And, and, and all of it hurts equally. You, you lose a uh, point of health. Now, see, here's a sorcerer, a level 2 sorcerer. And I def you definitely got... Look at that. Look at those bullets. Look at that bullet pattern. What if I didn't have that pillar there, you know? Like... You have to have a blank on you or some cover because, or room to dodge. But if you're trapped in a small room with no cover, no blanks, like that guy will annihilate you. You know what I mean? Here we are, trying to use a demon's head to clear enemies. I don't like demon's head uh, so much at clearing enemies as I do on like it on bosses. And see, I, at the time, I didn't know that uh, every kill doesn't immediately power up the gun. Um, it's every like five kills. If you also if you take damage, uh, you lose uh, the bonuses to your gun. Also, taking damage or switch your weapons, you lose uh, the metronome bonus to your weapon. Once again, AOE room full of AOE characters. We're getting our health back. Here's another mysterious room that I haven't quite figured out the purpose. It's this giant pitfall with some minecart tracks that lead nowhere. I see a door to the upper right, but I don't know how to get over there. Uh, I don't know if I need a special thing I need. Maybe I'm traveling the wrong way. Maybe I should travel clockwise instead of counterclockwise. And then make a try to jump for it. Who knows? I think I'll try that next time. That's what I'm going to do. But yeah, Into the Gungeon, much fun. Much uh, things. I like to try to... I'm trying to learn to uncover... Sometimes uh, I like to open chests immediately if I have the key. Sometimes I like to wait and, uh, you know, go over the floor after... You know, either right before I fight the boss or after I've killed the boss. So, you know, I just because you want time to think that mahogany is so good. Like at the time of this video, this and, and uh, right here, I didn't know it's worth and I didn't want to spend the money. I'd rather have, you know, the the health and the uh, the health and the, you know, protections or whatever. So, um. But yeah, I like his name is Moho Maho Mahogany, but um, you know, spelled with a G U N instead of uh, the proper spelling. I like to call it the coconut gun, and it is so fun to use and so versatile um, and powerful. Like that's one of the best weapons ever. Like insane. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get some footage of that because some of the guns are just worthy of their own video like when you get them like it's worthy and you know you're kicking boss but it's worthy so anyway here we are third chamber boss um and here I switched to the electro gun I should have kept the demon's head oh man 
But hey, you live and you learn. So anyway, we have Executioner uh, Tank Treadnought. And he's very powerful AOE damage. He has the ability to destroy the columns by either running over them or firing uh, the main cannon against them. I wonder, does every battle um, come with cover? I uh, Probably not. I'm, I wonder, it's probably like the Gatling go uh, boss. Just like sometimes he comes with cover in the room. Sometimes he... Um, Sometimes, you know, he comes with nothing and you just have to pray for your dodge and pray the whole time. Although his main cannon shot is uh, pretty diff uh, pretty easy to dodge if you're in motion already. But anyway, I'm getting towards the end of the video. If you like action like this, Into the Gungeon action, stay tuned because I'm going to be bringing more and more and more. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. I also greatly appreciate all comments. I thank you for watching. Um, and Tiki, I got shot. Uh, that's the end of it. I thank you for watching. Um, I hope this finds you well. Play Enter the Gungeon. Let me see some of your. Let me know what you think uh, if you play it, and uh, show me your experience. If you're a fellow YouTuber, let me you know put a link to your channel. I watch a video. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.